You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrans for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Nick Castellanos. That's right. The slugger for the Cincinnati Reds. And Rob Manford. As you guys know, if you've been subscribed to this channel any length of time, we're not the biggest fans of MLB Commissioner Rob Manford, mainly for his lunacy involving moving the MLB All-Star Game out of Georgia, bending the knee to people like Joe Biden and Stacey Abrams, and their lunatic crusade involving the Georgia voting law where all of a sudden, if you need an ID, that has become ist. That's right. You are a artist. You know what that is. I'm trying not to say it on YouTube because we know YouTube. Uh, but he's not all that pro- popular among Major League Baseball players either. Nick Castellanos recently, recently had a two-game suspension. And there was a, they, people have said he instigated a brawl, and it was for an incident involving the St. Louis Cardinals, and he hit home plate, he ran home to home plate, he was safe at home plate, he got up and he flexed, looking down at a St. Louis Cardinals pitcher, he flexed, and all of a sudden, the bench is cleared, okay, and Rob Manford gave him a suspension, Well, I know that doesn't surprise us. Very quickly, make sure you check out blackandwhitenetwork.com. Bronze and silver memberships available over there for exclusive content. We talk about a little bit of everything over there. Sports, politics, entertainment, exclusive live streams, and exclusive member panel streams. Get Get in on a stream with myself and John Matrix. Let's go to this article from OutKick. Also, I have the video from this, so we will check that video out. Rob Manford remains wildly unpopular, and this epic post-game interview proves it. Rob Manford's not very popular, and Nick Castellanos trolled the hell out of his ass. That's right. MLB Commissioner Rob Manford is an unpopular figure. He issued the Houston Astros almost no punishment after they were caught stealing signs, and he moved the All-Star game out of Atlanta among a number of absurd decisions. And now his friends in the industry are few and far between. Most recently, he handed down a two-game suspension to Nick Castellanos, the popular slugger for the Cincinnati Reds. In case you're wondering, he's having a hell of a season. He's batting 326. Uh, I think he's third in the National League in batting average right now. And he's among the top 10 in hits. He's got 45 hits already. He's having a monster season. 10 home runs for instigating a benches clearing incident against the St. Louis Cardinals. The suspension was questionable. But Castellanos got his revenge on Manford on Sunday. He didn't even have to say a word. Instead, he let a a fan handle it. A fan wearing a Cincinnati Reds jersey was down on the field with Castellanos. And the two exchanged a fist bump. Why? Well, the commentator probably regrets asking the question. And there is video of this. I'll play it right now. Oh, look at this. Power of the fist bump. He's a man of the people. Yeah. All right. Be careful. You're on live TV here now. What led up to the fist bump? So uh, I told Nick when he got up there that he should imagine that uh, Rob Manfred's face was on the baseball, and the next pitch he lit it up over the fence, baby. All righty. <laughs> End it right there. Whatever motivation it takes, right? Whatever it takes. All right, thanks for joining us. Okay, so and 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 the commentator was great, some Bally sports guy, and he was like, "Wow, okay, this just this fan just threw our commissioner right under the bus, 
and then ran the bus over him. I thought it was glorious, personally speaking. So I told Nick when he got up there, he could imagine that Rob Mansford's face was on the baseball, the fans said. And the next pitch, he lit it up over the fence. The best part about this was Castellanos uh, looking into the camera, staring and crossing his arms, staring into the camera. It was great. Castellanos wasn't the only one who took a shot. So players now have found a loophole for criticizing the commissioner. Launder it through the fans. The commentator for Bally Sports in Ohio didn't know how to react as he realized that the ploy had been executed perfectly. In fact, the entire exchange was fantastic. So that that is glorious. That is glorious. Anytime we can see... And look, I think it's pretty clear. We had a Reds player and a Pirates player the other day stand out after the national anthem was over. That's right, stand out, stand up, stand out, hand over hearts after a national anthem, and they had a literal standoff after the anthem. Which one is going to walk off the field after observing and honoring the national anthem? One of those were Reds players. Look. Let's just be real. Baseball's been a mainly conservative sport forever, forever. And baseball disrespected it. Rob Manford disrespected it by moving, bending the knee and moving it, uh, the All-Star game out of Georgia. And it's clear these players don't like Rob Manford very much. You know, we always want to say Adam Silver's the worst commissioner, and he probably is in the NBA because he's let all the players basically call the shots and run his league into the ground. But look, it's pretty clear. This is a commissioner where the players, no, the players and the commissioner do not align. Their belief set do not align. I'm sure some of them do, but it's clear. Some of these guys don't like Rob Manfred at all. They don't like Rob Manfred at all. We certainly don't on this channel. The fact that he got a fan to help him troll the commissioner is a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Yeah, Cincinnati Red Slugger. He's on play, on pace to have a monster year. And if he could hit another 24 home runs, he's going to have 200 in his career. Maybe by the time this season's over, he would have to hit uh he would have to hit 34 this year, but he could do it. He hit 27 in one season. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.